We developed this idea because we realised that patients with communication difficulties were having trouble expressing their symptoms to the staff. So we developed these pictures to line up with the questions that the nurses and doctors ask every day. We picked two initial con concepts to work on, breathlessness and sleep, and we developed pictures in association with questions around those. So, for example, it might have been, what helps you if you're breathless? And we developed pictures around sitting, standing, walking the corridor, having conversations, those kinds of things. When we meet a patient for the first time, we explain to them that we're going to use pictures to assist our communication. Otherwise, the conversation just becomes yes and no. We show them the pictures. There's pictures of, um, of all different kinds and we ask a question and they then can point or indicate yes, no, or that they're not sure. So for example, with breathlessness, um, we will take something like uh, a patient might have uh, use a fan or use pillows to aid their um, and reduce their breathlessness. And initially, when you think, oh, it's just a picture of a fan, you can use any old picture, we have chosen the picture that staff felt it most represents the fans that we use here. It's been very well received by the team because you can imagine the frustration that our nurses and doctors have here when they go into somebody and they can't communicate with them in the normal way. It's daily routine to ask about all these symptoms in palliative care. So for them, having a backup tool that they can use to better relate to the patient and so that the patient feels um, enabled, really, is what we're talking about. Three fifty number of fifty number of six number of seventy three, some number of seventy eight, three number of eighty ninety, three nine number of ninety four. In South Kerry we would have a large population of men living in rural isolated areas. As part of Men's Health Awareness Week back in June, we organised uh, two Health Awareness Days, one in Kinmere Mart and the other in Ivra Mart in Carsavine. And we also linked up with the pharmacies in Kinmere, Carsavine, Sneem and Waterfall. Waterville, where they did free health checks for men all that week. The atmosphere was just electric, it really, really was. Um, I suppose Bernie, who is the Mart manager in Ivra Mart, said she'd never seen such a crowd um, at the Mart for years. So there was real connection there and I suppose it really highlighted the need for connection to improve our own health and well-being as well. I was very happy with the turnout on the both days. It was great to see um, men from farming backgrounds and working backgrounds attend the two days. Um, they were very positive, they were engaging with all the stalls at the, at the activity. Um, there was real interest. It did surprise us a small bit with the turnout, but I think times are changing with men. They are becoming more aware now of minding their health. The project was, was so well run and well organised that uh, they decided to bring a health to, for men, local men, and it was well attended and it was very casual. There was no pressure on anyone to do anything or say anything, and the people that were running it were so, so intense in what they'd done and done it so well that everyone got a great vibe from it. Well, the Mart is a very important place for these people because they're, they're outlet for the week. They come, they come to the Mart every Monday and every Thursday and they feel at home. The Mart is part of, of their home life as well. I'm extremely proud of this event, I suppose. Um, for us in health promotion, it was thinking outside the box. Um, it was working with really unique setting as well as working with the Marts, both in Khmer and the Mart in Carra Savine. So my name is Natasha Lewis, I'm the Canada Advanced Nurse Practitioner in the ICPOP Cork City North Hub. ICPOP stands for the Integrated Care Programme for Older Persons. Its main aim is to provide the right care at the right time in the right environment. So myself and Jennifer submitted this journey to highlight the good work being done in the North Hub. This particular gentleman came to us and was diagnosed with a delirium after an assessment by the team. 
So delirium can be classed as an altered mental state in the older person. It can be caused, for example, by constipation or an infection or even pain. The older person becomes very confused, um, becomes confused to their own environment, can become quite cross, can become quite aggressive with family, which can be very sudden in onset, so rapid onset, which can be quite shocking for the patient and their family. We received a referral from his GP. He had access into our service within a week of that referral being received. Both Natasha and I, and along with our incredible team, which consists of physios and occupational therapists, our consultant geriatrician, admin support, operational team lead and speech therapy, we would have all assessed this gentleman using the Comprehensive Geriatric Assessment also known as a CGA. So the case management was led by the nursing team here. So that allowed a weekly phone call to the family, but also gave them a single point of contact to contact us. Any issues or concerns that they may have had were then identified and we were able to act upon them. So the benefit for this gentleman was having access to community supports, voluntary and community supports, and that ED avoidance that he was able to stay at home. He did not need to be um, admitted into hospital. So the nursing team developed a patient information leaflet with delirium, and we've already received really positive feedback about how beneficial it has been to them. In that leaflet it kind of details how the patient may present or how they may feel and some tips to kind of approach them and support them at home and also supports available to them. We are delighted that we've been um, nominated for this award and we're delighted that our piece of work that we did for this gentleman and many others has been highlighted. <laughs>